Hey guys, Apocalypso here, back with another video. And uh, in this video, I am going to be discussing the stages in Smash Ultimate and which ones I think should be tournament legal. Uh, this was inspired after I was watching a Mewtwo King video about uh, what stages should be allowed and whether uh, Idrisil's altar should be uh, term legal or not so uh, you can check that out the link will be in the description um, so let's 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 just just go into it I guess you could say so um, I actually have not ever played in the tournament I'm just uh, doing this based on my own experience so that's a disclaimer and uh, people with more experience in tournaments may have different opinions, but this is just based on my opinions and personal experiences. So let's let's just let's let's go into it. Battlefield, of course. Uh, yeah, that should obviously be tournament legal. It's tournament legal in every game. So yes, obviously, big battlefield. You know, it's too big. I agree with the ban. Final destination. Yeah, it's. It's about the same. It's a, I think the same size as Battlefield, so it, it's not as easy to camp as in previous games, notably Melee. But um, so I, I think it definitely should be uh, legal. New Donk City Hall is a traveling stage, and I don't think it is uh, very good for uh, tournament. Uh, tournament. Uh, I don't think it's very good for tournaments because it has walk-offs, so I think it wouldn't really be legal. So, no. Great Plateau Tower, no. It has the roof on the top, and if the roof wasn't there, if it was just the uh, the form that um, appeared when uh, the roof was destroyed, that would be definitely tournament legal. But that roof being there makes a uh, it makes a a uh, a big issue with caves of life and stuff. Mirai Towers, I think, is uh, too big and it has like a bit of an awkward platform layout, so I don't think it should be uh, legal. Dracula's Castle is kind of interesting because it's uh, it's a very strange shape, but it's. Also, the, the center of the stage is also pretty, uh, pretty okay. But I think just the the staircase and the weird shape of it means it probably should be banned. Mementos is one that <clears throat> not too many people think sh should be legal. I think it should be legal. I think there's really nothing wrong with it because there's the trains. See, there there's this thing here that doesn't appear when st hazards are off. And in tournaments, hazards are always off, so this thing would not appear. And uh, that's good, because it would create a cave of life. And the trains and walls also don't appear when the hazard's off. So uh, I think there's really nothing wrong with the stage, and I think it was unjustly banned. Yggdrasil's altar is the whole thing that Mewtwo King was concerned about. I think it should be legal because uh, there's nothing really wrong with it. It does have random platform layouts, but that would just make tournaments more interesting and uh, it's kind of bland seeing the same stages all the time in tournaments, so I think it should be fine. I think it should be legal. Now it does start off like uh, stuck to the ground. Uh, it does start out uh, still, but then it gets up and moves, and so players who aren't paying attention could uh, easily get KO'd, but it's not really a big issue because it's, it's, it's not that way for too long, so I think it should be uh, legal. Spiral Mountain, it's too early to tell. Um, it's, you know, Banjo's not even out yet, so Spiral Mountain's not out. I'm guessing it probably won't be tournament legal because of the mechanics that it probably will have with like uh, uh, turning around. But I, 
it's, it's too early to tell because it's not even out. We don't even know what the gimmicks are. Peach's Castle, no, that it, it should not it should not be tournament legal in any way. It uh, has these weird triangle things, and it has like just a weird, really weird layout. It's it's a very strange stage. Uh, so no, it shouldn't be legal. Also has a bumper, so that it's not too great. Mushroom Kingdom 64. Uh, well, it, it shouldn't be. It's just plain and simple. Just look at this. This, this is a pretty awful stage. <laughs> Princess Peach's Castle. Uh, no, I don't think it should be legal. I mean, it's it's a pretty flat stage, and the platforms are okay. And the, this bonsai build does not appear when stages when hazards are off, but uh. Uh, it has this big wall in the center, and that could uh, lead to a lot of weird wall combos, so I don't think it should be allowed. Rainbow Cruise is a strange case, because it has this wall here, but it doesn't travel when hazards are off, so it just stays on this ship the whole time. And it has kind of a weird layout. I think maybe it should be a counter pick if it's legal at all. It definitely should shouldn't be a starter. It's too strange of a uh, stage in shape. I uh, I just I don't I don't think it should should be starter. Maybe it could be counter pick. Mushroom Kingdom 2. No, it has walk offs and it's way too easy to die in these pits. No, it it should should be banned. Delfina Plaza. That's kind of a strange case. Um, I don't know for a fact if if it goes anywhere when hazards are off. I, I don't think it does. I, I might be wrong about that, though. Um, if it doesn't go anywhere when hazards are off, then I would say it'd be a pretty good stage for uh, for tournaments. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, no. It <laughs> has these weird caves of life, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just not a good stage. Mushroom Kingdom, no. It travels. It's, it's not. It's not. No. No. Figure 8 circuit, no, walk-offs, just weird, and you can't, you can't even access the bottom blast zone, which is usually the death knell for stages in tournament play. Mario Bros, no, walk-offs, it's uh, very strange, a very weird stage, a bunch of caves of life, no, not very good at all. 3D Land, no, it's a traveling stage. Golden Plains. It's it's also a traveling stage and it has walk-offs and it's just too big, so no. Paper Mario no, because it has the walk-off right here. And also this can turn, I believe. Uh, I may, maybe it can't I don't think it can turn when the hazards are off because the wind doesn't appear. But regardless, it still has the walk-off and it's pretty strange. Mushroom Kingdom U, it's too big for a starter, but the platform layout is fairly neutral, so I think best case scenario it could be a counter pick. Mario Galaxy, walk offs, weird gravity, no. Mario Circuit, possibly if the, the platforms don't travel anywhere. If the platforms don't travel anywhere, it could be fine for tournaments, but uh, otherwise, no. I think it could be fine if, if the platforms don't go anywhere, so if, if that's the case, I would say it'd be uh, a counter pick. Super Mario Maker, completely random layout, you, you never know what you're going to get, so that's not really conducive to tournament play. Congo Jungle 64, I don't know about this one. Now, I think it would be fine if these platforms moved around when hazards are off, because this barrel cannon is kind of was the reason it's not legal. Uh, I don't think the platforms are ever stayed to be the reason. Maybe they are, but that they're certainly not as big of an issue as a barrel cannon. But the problem is, when the barrel cannon disappears and hazards off, these platforms also stay still, and there's this tiny gap where you can fall in, and I just think for that reason it would be banned. Congo Falls, it's kind of a strange one to be honest, it has this rock, and it's also kind of small, but without without hazards, this 
barrel cannon and the clamp trap do not appear. So I think it would either be counter pick or it would be banned. I, I'm not it's it's hard to say. Jungle Japes, banned, water. You know, big gaps, it's not not good. 75M, banned, too big. Super happy tree. Oh, I wish I wish Hazards Off just removed the clouds and made the blast zones much you know much closer to the stage because otherwise because you know, then it would be able to be uh, determined legal but the thing is the the clouds still appear and uh, and the the blast zone is still massive so no it would be banned which is a real shame Yoshi's Island melee uh, banned walk offs uh, these weird blocks that I don't think can can be uh, destroyed um, with Hathers off, so no. Yoshi's story definitely, definitely should be legal because it's legal in every rule set, as far as I can tell. I'm not sure. Um, Yoshi's Yoshi's Island uh, brawl should should be legal. I mean, it has a neutral, has a very neutral. Uh, Layouts, and so I think it should be uh, should be allowed. Hyrule Castle, no, it's too big and it has that uh, has has the the uh, the the roof here, which creates Cave of Life, so that would be banned. Great Bay banned because of the water. Also, it's just it's just too small. I'll, I don't think the turtle appears when uh, hazards are off. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it does. Temple, too big, Caves of Life, Bridge of Elden, walk-offs, just, it's it's a very strange stage, just flat, Pirate Ship, banned, water, because, yeah, water, no, no that's, that's not good for tournaments, Gerudo Valley, banned, it has walk-offs, Spirit Train, banned, because it has, it moves from I think right to left, which means you can get KO'd very easily by moving off the right side, and that's not that's not good. Skyloft. Oh, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say about this because the reason it's banned is because the the main platform is passed through on the bottom, which allows something called sharking. Uh, but I think it's a pretty pretty okay stage in, when hazards are off, so I think maybe it could be a counter pick if. Uh, if tournament organizers were more liberal with their stage choices, oh, Brinstar. This one's also kind of an interesting one. It has a weird layout at first glance, but it's actually not that strange when you think about it. And none of the platforms are destructible, and a lot of the acid doesn't come up when uh, the when when hazards are off. So I think this could be a counter pick. Brinstar Depths, no, it's a very weird layout. Norfair, it's pretty big, but none of the hazards actually appear when hazards are off, so uh, I think it could be a, a pretty good stage for tournaments. Frigate Orphean, ah, oh, that that's it's it's a hard, it's a tough one. I think I think it could be like a counter pick or something, maybe even a starter with hazards off because. It has a pretty neutral layout, and I don't think the platforms really move when uh, move that much when hazards are off. So I think it could be either starter or counter pick. I definitely don't think it should be banned. Dreamland 64. The only reason, the only reason this is banned is because it's similar to Battlefield, and I think that's just an utterly stupid reason for a stage to be banned. And. It does have a slightly different layout from Battlefield. The platforms are slightly different, and it's a generally smaller stage, which is always good for rushdown characters. So I think, I think it should be at least a counter pick. Fountain of Dreams, it's basically Dreamland. So I think that should be legal. Green Greens is a. Uh, an interesting stage because it has those two pits but they're not like they're not centralized so it's not very likely you're going to fall into them a whole lot and, and there, there's no there are no walls so Ness and Lucas's recoveries are not impeded 
So I don't think it negatively, those pits negatively affect tournament play as, in terms of recovery. So I think it should be at least a counter pick. Halberd, I think, should be at least a counter pick because uh, it does have walk offs at the beginning, but that's just at the very beginning, and it, they never appear, never appears on the stage again. Just like Idrisil's altar and the claw and cannon do not, um, the two cannons do not uh, appear or do anything when when they uh, when hazards are off. So I think it should be a, at least a counter pick. Dreamland GB. Uh, no, it's, no, no, no bottom blast zone, uh, at least for most layouts, uh, and, uh, it has walk-offs, and it's traveling, it's, it's just, it's a pretty bad state, I don't really like it personally. Great Cave Offensive, too big, those hazard zones really change, radically change the, uh, the gameplay, and I don't think it's, it's really good. Corneria, awkward shape, too big. I mean, I think, I personally think it's not really that bad of a stage, but it does have walls, and there is that laser you can camp on, so I have to say it's banned. Venom, no, I, I don't think it should be allowed because uh, it does have walls and has those awkward, uh, awkward platforms, so I think it should be banned. Lilac clue. Li blah, Lilac Cruise should be uh, allowed. Maybe like a counter pick as usual. I think it might be even a starter, but I think it should be a counter pick, if not a starter. Saffron City. It has walls, so Ness and Lucas can't really recover, and it's just it's a little too big, so I think it probably should be banned. Pokemon Stadium. Uh, that's automatically legal because it's legal in every tournament. Pokemon Stadium 2, legal, obviously. Spear, Pillar, no, it shouldn't, it, it should be banned because it has the, you can't really see it in this image here, but, uh, it has this, uh, I'm trying to find it here. It has this, uh, pit, you can see this pit, uh, like right here. And uh, that is a cave of life, so I don't think it's a very good, it's not good for turn to play at all, so I have to say it's banned, sorry. Unova Pokemon League uh, should be should be allowed, because it, even though it's a pretty dark stage, it has a neutral layout with hazards off, so I think that should be allowed. Prism Tower, mm, I think it should be... Now this might be a controversial opinion, but I think it should be a counter pick because the platform layout's not really that strange, to be honest. And it does have walk-offs at the beginning, and every time it returns to 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 like the main level, but it is temporary. Um, and the other platform layouts are not very bad, so I think it should be at least a counter pick. Kalos Pokemon League uh, legal. I guess it's always legal. Big Blue, no, it's it's a, it's a pla platform layout's too too strange, and I believe the road can still appear with hazards off. So uh, no. Port Town Aero Dive, I believe uh, it's still you can st still travel on it, and uh, it's you know still a traveling stage, so I have to say it's banned. New City on uh, SNES, same reason it it travels. And which you know the road can damage you, so that's not good. Onet, uh, walk-offs and walls, and so so it's not not a very good stage for tournament play, at least. Very fun for casuals, but not good for tournaments. Foresight, although I really like this stage, it it's banned for the similar re sim similar le reason that uh. Saffron City is banned in my mind because uh, the, the, the buildings creating walls makes it difficult for Ness and Lucas to recover, which is a little too broken for tournament play. New Pork City, banned, too big. Uh, yeah. Magicant, um, it's kind of a strange one. It does have that platform underneath the main one. 
as you can see. But uh, I think it's a pretty decent stage without the Flying Man. So uh, I think it could be Counter Pick. Summit, no, that's traction. It's a little too bit too bad. And uh, very weird platform layout, so no. Uh, I think Castle Siege should be a counter pick because it has a fairly neutral uh, stage layout and it's it's only banned because of uh, something obstructing the camera, which is not really a big deal in my experience. So I think it should be uh, at least a counter pick. Arena Ferox, um, I think should be perhaps a counter pick because it does have a new, uh, it does have a um, random layout, one of the random layouts uh, start at the begin, you know, at, you know, at the beginning of the match, and it's like that the whole match um, in uh, in Hazards Off, but. I think most of them are pretty reasonable, so maybe it could be counter pick, or maybe it could be banned if, if the, some of the la layouts are too unreasonable. Coliseum should be banned, walk offs. Flat Zone X banned, walk offs. And also the fact the camera doesn't move. Sky World should be banned because they're caves of life and the platforms aren't destroyed. When uh, when hazards are off, so it's might might be pretty difficult to navigate the stage. Uh, and there's all also also creates a cave of life. Reset bomb forest is kind of a strange one because it does have that pit in the center, but it's covered by a platform. So um, I think it, it, it should at least be a counter pick, possibly. I think maybe, perhaps, I'm not sure, I have to think about that a bit more. Palutena's Temple should be banned because it's too big, obviously. WarioWare Inc. Now this one's uh, very controversial because apparently the reason it's banned is because the blast zones are too close to the stage and I think that we should have more, you know, sm more smaller stages so that uh, characters that are you know, that are good at camping don't dominate the meta, so we can have some rushdown characters have a chance in tournaments as well. And this is a point that, uh, what was his name, uh, YouTube King brought up when, when doing his video, that small stages are better for rushdown characters, so if, if mostly large stages, um, are the only ones legal, then makes very projectile-oriented characters dominate the rushdown characters, and that's just not very balanced. So, I think this one should be at least a counter pick. Gamer uh, should be banned because it uh, it has random layouts every time, and that's just that's not fair. Distant Planet should be banned because of the the. Uh, Walk off. Garden of Hope should be banned in my opinion because it's too big and has those weird can things on the on the side that kind of are quite strange. Have like a very small space between them and the platform, so I think it should be banned. Smashville should be legal. Tour Timer Island or Tour Timer Island uh, should be uh, should be banned because it has water. And it's just too 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 big and too flat. Town City should be legal, of course. Boxing Ring should be banned because of walk-offs, and it might be a little too big as well. We Fit Studio banned because of walk-offs. Gower Plane, whoa, way too big. It's just it's 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 way too big. Just yeah, it's huge. Duck Hunt. I don't know if duck hunt should be banned or not because uh, I don't think the ducks appear when the hazards are off. Um, but the problem is that that tree does kind of make characters with horizontal recoveries or ver primarily vertical recoveries. It gives them a huge, huge advantage. So characters like Little Mac have uh, trouble getting onto that uh, tree. 
And there are a lot more characters nowadays with bad jumps, so uh, I think it should probably be banned. Shadow Moses Island should be banned because it has the walls on the side and there's no access to the bottom blast zone. So it's a very strange stage, so it should be banned. Green Hill Zone, weird stage, should be banned. Windy Hill Zone, uh, kind of similar to Mario, Mario Galaxy, except, except it does not have walk-offs, but it still has that weird gravity, so it should be banned. Wily Castle, apparently the reason this is banned is because it's too similar to uh, Final Destination, but I think it might be just slightly bigger, so it is a little bit different, so I think it should be perhaps a starter. Pack land, band, moving platforms, that's just, that's not good. Uh, you know, it's, it, it travels, moves, it's not very good. Suzaku Castle, uh, walk-offs, and it has that weird pet that can get characters with bad recoveries, so I think that should be banned. Midgar should be, I think, a starter, because it is essentially Battlefield. And so I think it should be, I think it should be a starter. Umbra Clock Tower. This is a very controversial one, and one that many people have debated about online. But I think it should at least be a counter pick because I have a certain sort of certain amount of ADHD. I have difficulty focusing on things. And I don't find the background too troublesome at all. Um, and the main reason it's banned is because of the distracting background. But Final Destination, like pretty much every iteration of Final Destination, also has a highly distracting background, and yet none of them are banned. So I think Umbra Clock Tower uh, should be allowed because all the problems that uh, it has are only temporary. Hannibal, banned. Picto Chat 2. Hmm. I think this this uh, could be could potentially be tournament legal, but it's I think it might be a little too small. Blast zones might be a little too close. But again, uh, it could work well for rushdown characters. But it may also be. But since it doesn't have any like soft platforms, it might also be a pretty big stage too so it really depends on the situation I think it could be a counter pick balloon fight the layout can change so it, it, it also the water and walk offs should it should be banned living room walk offs banned find me very strange stage has a pit in the center has that cage with the me in it uh, should be banned Tomodachi life is a very vertical stage um, and also the top, the roof is very close to the upper blast zone, which can lead to cheap kills, so that should be banned. Wrecking Crew, similar, similar reason as Tomodachi Life, as uh, it does constantly change layout, and it is a mostly vertical stage, and so it should be banned. Pilot Wings, this is a very strange one, it does have the wall in the center, um, but I don't think it changes to the single, to like the, the regular yellow plane in Hazard's Off, so it just stays in the biplane the whole time. I think perhaps it should be banned, but I don't know because I don't think it turns either when Hazards are off. So I think maybe it could be potentially a counter pick. And Woohoo Island, finally. This is one that many people want to be legal, and I think it should be legal. Uh, because I believe I mentioned Skyloft. If Skyloft is perfectly fine, in my opinion, then uh, Woohoo Island should be fine too, because they're both essentially the same kind of traveling stage. So I think that's 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 my opinion on it. And so that's all the stages Smash Ultimate so far. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments and. Make sure to follow my Twitter account and uh, subscribe if you want to. I will leave the Twitter in the description. Um, so, 
you can check that out. And uh, I think that will be it for now. Bye!